What's up everybody? Today we're going to be putting the kayak rack in the ram so we'll be able to haul four kayaks this weekend. Let's go! This is a Amazon Special rack. I think it was around $140 or $150. And the reason why I bought this one is A, I can clamp it in or I can use these holes and bolt it in if I want. So far the clamps are working out fine. But really the big difference here is if you want to hold four, you need this distance here. A lot of them have a tube that stops here and just goes across. And you can see this one's right on the, pretty much on the edge. And that one's pretty close to the edge. And that one's pretty close to the edge. You need that extra distance, that extra six inches or so, to be able to haul that fourth kayak. You can haul three all day long, but that fourth one's a big one to get it four wide. Uh, this is pretty adjustable. You can see this tube here in the middle is slotted, and you can run it pretty much at whatever width that you want. But um, I, you can notice that I ran some self-tapping screws in there. So once I have it set, I put some self-tappers in there to kind of hold that position. And I just think that helps as I'm moving it in and out of the truck that I don't have to worry about it walking around too much on me. These are the clamps that I'm using. There's a couple different styles. The style that it came with isn't ideal for this type of bed. It was more of a flat without this deep U-channel. And you need that deep U channel to really get under that lip and grab onto it. So these were an extra 40 bucks or so to get the eight clamps. You can definitely bolt it on if you want to and just run nuts and bolts. And it would probably take you just as long to bolt it in and out than it would to use these clamps. But so far, no holes. So, so far, so good. Something else to consider with these clamps is they're they're cast aluminum, right? So they're not super durable. They won't take a ton of torque. So just snug them up. They're not really going to go anywhere. Uh, once you tie the kayaks down and stuff, I don't think you have anything to worry about. So don't go crazy on torquing them. You also need to consider if you're getting something like this, you have an aluminum cast aluminum mount with a steel bolt. So dissimilar materials. Use anti-seize on those fasteners so that you don't just gall them up and if you leave them on the truck for an extended period you get rain you get some kind of electrolysis going on that little bit of anesthesia will save your tail um, over time to keep them working well keep you from tearing up that aluminum too bad with those steel bolts something to keep in mind when you're doing this stuff these are pretty inexpensive saddles or whatever they're called j hooks or uh, i don't remember i'll link them i did have to run some longer carriage bolts these are obviously too long but it was either too long or too short at Lowe's that day, and too long works. But there are four pairs of those. They come with straps that you can tie the kayak down, which is uh, nothing too crazy. You're probably probably familiar with that already. I'll put a link to those in the description as well. But I think in total, I have around $200, $220 or so in the rack, in the clamps, in the uh, J-hooks, all together. And that lets us haul our two kayaks and our neighbors typically go kayaking with us so we haul their two kayaks as well which is nice because it gives you the full bed right for scooters and bikes and ice chests and whatever else that you want you're able to keep the full use of the bed as high as you want to go and still haul four kayaks which is a pretty good way to go i'll, I'll try to show loading and unloading it's not too bad i've kind of gotten it down a little bit and uh that's what I got. All right, obviously I'm still working on the whole process of getting it up there, but it's up there. that's pretty much my setup. Hopefully that's valuable to someone. I wasn't able to find a whole lot of content on getting four in the truck when I was trying to do this. So 
Perhaps it helps you out. If it does, please give me a like to the video and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time.